Hello, welcome to Super High Graphics. First, let's take a look at the intro. Hello guys, welcome back to Super High Graphics. I'm Olaju Juan by name. So let's get started. Delete what you have on your screen. Now let's set the background. Click here background. Then you come to from gallery. Just click on from gallery. Then I want to select the background. Okay. That's not it. I have to reselect it. Okay, here is the background make it a one-to-one -one here just bring it down i'll make this background available to us okay now you can see what i have on my screen good come back here having done this the next thing that i want to do now is let's create the shape so you expand it a little like this something like this expand it to cover the page bring it down Okay. Okay, that. So, what we want to what we want to do is just a, a simple business flyer that is displaying the kind of business that they offer. So, this case is like a show of color, uh, pictures of the businesses. So, I'll go and bring in the images. Okay, let's say this is the first image that I want to make use of. I will make it a one to one crop it out like this bring it down I don't want the black portion to show that's why I'm cropping it but ensure it is one to one you can see that then you come in and crop it just like this the black part isn't showing okay that now reduce the size of this let me bring it here now to really get the alignment properly, let's make use of grid. Click on this grid line here. Now you have your grid line. What I want to arrange is six images, three, three images side by side. So this grid line that I have made, that I have clicked on, just leave it and I arrange this one to somewhere here like this. You can see this. Okay, good. Now let me give us a specific size for this image. Let's make use of let's make use of 20 to 21. If you have it at 20, it's fine. If you have it at 21, it's still fine. Okay, that and just bring it somewhere close to the grid. The purpose of this grid is to ensure our proper alignment, the images are properly aligned. You can see this. Look at it very well. Good. Now the next thing is to come down to stroke enable the stroke of that image that we've just had it now let's make the stroke color a white color and give it a stroke of let's say four four is fine click out now let me rearrange it i don't want it to touch the lines give it a little space like this you can see this good the next thing i will do now is to click on this image and come to shadow enable the shadow the shadow radius is at 10 you can see it you can see it right here 10 just leave it like that and click on ok click out you can see the radius effect good what we are going to do now is to duplicate this image into six places now watch me as i do it Now you can see these two are already properly aligned side by side. Good. Next thing is just to duplicate. So 
delete this just duplicate the images again position it Okay, good. Now you can see how I've arranged these images. Six image slides. You can see them on the screen. Now all you just have to do in this case is to click on any of the images and click on reselect. Let me say I want to make use of um let's say I want to add another image to it. Let me make use of um, Okay, let's just say I want to hide this now. Make it a one-to-one -one again. Align it properly to capture what you want to display. Just like this. Okay, that. Now you can see it's bigger. All you just have to do now is to come to size. Reduce the size of the first one to like the same size that you have. So you can see this is smaller. Make it a 21. You can see it's properly aligned to the same place it is excuse me <coughs> okay sorry about that that's what you are going to do to the rest of the image slides that's like the one two three four down below it you just have to select it and bring in the images that you want to make use of having done that good now let me remove the let me remove the grid now you can see this this is getting beautiful now because the space above is too much it's too small and the space below is a lot more so what i will just do is click on layer click on this click on this so just select all the images that you have now click on these two here click on this i want to adjust the position so i'll bring it to one and just come and move it down a little if i feel like it is too close to the side here i will just have to move it out a little like this now you can see this this is properly positioned having done all the arrangement okay it and just come out click on layer to remove the layer good you can click on this layer lock all the items especially if you're a beginner lock all the items step by step to avoid movement now let's say the business give you a business logo for you to make use of but in this case i don't have a business logo so i want to show us two in one creating a flyer and creating a logo inside this flyer let me look for an item to create a logo with okay let's say this is it i'll just make use of one of these to create a logo okay here is what i have i'll just reduce the size of this to something like this now you can see this doesn't really look too well so let's fine tune it you come to color enable the color and just come and look for a color that suits let's say this pink color you can make it a pink color good now the next thing we are going to do now is let's give this pink color a stroke enable the stroke now you can see the beauty it has given us so you can make use of any color too as the stroke but in this case stroke of two white color it's the beauty is out already if you feel it is too small you can increase the size to get more to cover more space just like this but in this case i don't like it. let me reduce it a little just like this good now the next thing is to add a name to it let's say the name of the business is rose place let's just type rose like rose's place something like this okay that let's make it a capital letter good 
can reduce the size of this and just position it inside here just like this Make sure it is properly aligned also no let me remove the x of this place it's not places it's place okay and I align it properly good now to really make it beautiful let's just duplicate the text duplicate it and make use of the r as the significant option of the logo like the dominant factor of the logo sorry this is not mathematics class okay you just come to let's say here center it so as you can be able to see it you can increase the size and bring it just increase the size now let's go to font okay font let's look for a very beautiful font too that can serve as what we that can serve us as a logo so let's say serve as a logo let's make use of okay I think I made use of in my last tutorial I made use of Java let me make use of Java again okay let's just say this is it and bring it bring it here good now position this here something like this and just come to size reduce the size this much depending on what can fit into the small space that we have in there so position it just like this you can see this good you can see what we just have a very royal beautiful logo design it's as simple as that how you can make a logo in the blink of an eye now the next thing we're going to do is to add all the details that we want to make use of let's say the details now is luxury let's say luxury you can afford or something like that so just duplicate this but before that why this for this to be dominant so as it can be clear for people to see you can just add some boldness to it you can see this so for the luxury that i want to type let me just duplicate it duplicate this let's bring it down and just come and type in luxury the complete word is luxury you can afford but let's type in luxury and then make it um i say luxuries Okay, position it here. Something like this. And just come and type in the next line. Let's see. Luxury that's affordable. Let's use it that. That is affordable. Something like that. Okay, let's say this is it. You can reduce the size of this to something like this. Let me give us a size for this. Let me check the size. Let's make it a size of um, 20. Okay, position it properly just like that now the next thing i want to do is i want to create a line to separate this and the next set of text that i want to add to it so i'll just create a shape something like this bring this here you can see i already separate give it a space like this you can see where it's starting from and where it's ending you can see how i strategically positioned it don't just create anything now 
it's just a simple straight line there there are different ways you can create a, a straight line but this is the easiest so far just create it like this close it up to the last point and just okay it. good now if it is a different color you can give it a different color but here let's make use of white and go on the next line of text Okay, let's say this is a the line all kinds of something like this so you go further and so you just itemize everything that you let's say this time we have shoes bags perfume Say clothing wears and something. What are those things that we use to buy that? Let's just say clothing. Clothing is and let's say human hair. Call the initials capital letter okay this is it so you optimize everything just like this make it as big as you feel it's okay come and position it now to add some beauty to this let me just say let's add a shopping bag somewhere here okay let's see this okay and just bring this one to somewhere here like this Just like this now i want to show some kind of reflection all i'll just do is just to duplicate it click on crop and just give it something like this this okay it will turn it completely upside down good i'll just bring it under this one something like this you can see good i'll then come to opacity reduce the opacity you can see it now so you can reduce the opacity to as much as you feel it's okay something like this so it's showing a reflection of like you are dropping the bag on a surface or something now the next thing is just to add details let's say address and all of that so you can duplicate any of the text and type in let's say this time around the address let's say just like that okay let me just type everything at once and say let's say this time around uh, the phone number plus 234 let's see the social media and let's say rules please okay 
so you just bring this one down here let's give it a color of let's say color black so as it can be seen just like this good position it properly so with this you can just hide let me separate it a little by spacing good now with this let me just add let's say location icon phone icon of this let me give us a size let's say i'm making use of size four so, so you position it since this is the address something like this duplicate that and i'll just crop another one so you just have to select all the items you want to add one after the other and add them to it. Okay. Okay, so the last one, if it is Facebook, if it is WhatsApp, or if it is Facebook or Instagram, you just add it below that place. And yeah, you've made a very beautiful design. This is how you can make a very beautiful design. And anybody will pay you for such a beautiful design. So if this was really helpful, kindly like and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to learn about video editing, I have a course on that. It's the sales page description. The sales page link is in the description below. My social media handles are right below in the description. You can reach out to me, ask me any questions. And if there is anything you don't understand or what you'd like to ask me, you can ask down here in the comment section and I will respond to all of it 